love running. I love running. A second kind of heel pain that's a little bit different than plantar fasciosis in terms of its location and in terms of when it typically bothers people. Plantar fasciosis type pain is generally in this medial heel region uh, at the attachment of the abductor, hallucis, and some of the other arch muscles. It typically will hurt first thing out of bed in the morning. People will need some time to be on their foot before the blood flow gets in there and they start to feel better. There's another kind of heel pain that hurts directly on the very bottom of the heel. It typically is not most painful first thing out of bed in the morning. It typically hurts more as the individual is on their foot, um, particularly people that stand on hard surfaces. That kind of heel pain hurts directly central on the bottom part of the heel at the location of a little fluid filled sac called a bursa. Now we all have them in several areas in our body and this particular location it's designed to protect the plantar fascia and the calcaneus so it sits in between the plantar fascia ligament and the heel bone. If a person's standing on hard surfaces for long periods of time, particularly if they're doing that with footwear that's stretching their plantar fascia ligament over top of that bursa and that's toe spring, that individual likely is going to develop a problem we call bursitis, more specifically infracalcaneal bursitis, meaning it's the irritation or inflammation of the bursa that sits under the heel bone. This also responds very nicely to the same sorts of things that we talk about for plantar fasciosis. We stretch the top of the foot to uh, get greater flexibility in the plantar fascia ligament. We want greater flexibility here in the extensor group, so we stretch the top of the foot. Anything that does this, toe spring and footwear, night splints that stretch your toes, is stretching the plantar fascia ligament over the bursa and likely irritating it. One very important thing to understand about heel pain, if you present to a medical provider's office, many times you will be uh, given a radiographic study of your foot or an x-ray. Overwhelmingly, most people who have not that sort of an x-ray are going to have a spur on their heel. And this is because most people that present to podiatry offices are middle-aged or older individuals, and their plantar fascia ligament has been pulling on the heel bone for most of their life, along with the little muscles here. This is an actual human foot skeleton, and this is an example of a bone spur on the heel, which as I'm mentioning, most people who get an x-ray, if they're beyond age 40 or 50, are going to have a little bit of spurring. What, what I want to bring up, though, is that the spur is not the source of the pain. The spur is an indication that the tissues on the bottom of the foot have been overstretched and pulling on the bone. And we all are familiar with what happens when soft tissue pulls on bone, it makes more bone. Uh, and that's a good thing if you have osteoporosis. It's not a good thing if your plantar fascia ligament and your arch muscles are pulling on your heel bone. Incidentally, um, most surgeons these days no longer remove the spur because the spur is not the source of pain. And what I want to make sure that most people understand is the spur is not poking down. So when people get heel pain, they wake up first thing out of bed in the morning, they step down, they feel like they're standing on something sharp, it's easy for them to conceptualize that maybe they're stepping on a piece of bone that's poking them. This is not the case. The bone spur that develops in most adult Americans is a traction spur projecting straight out towards the toes. So in other words, it, it would be projecting this way and not downward. Um, so a couple things are important here. Heel pain um, can typically be treated pre preventively or, or conservatively if you understand the causes. The spur that oftentimes is present is not the cause of the pain. It's not, um, not the source of the discomfort for the client. Oftentimes if it's not bursitis, it's a localized circulatory issue. And therefore you want to make sure and understand where the blood is coming in and out of and what would be hampering it and what truly hampers it in most people is their big toe position. I love running. 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 I love running.